Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. The lighting's super weird because I'm sitting in my normal get ready spot and it's like 11 so that's why the lighting's just super weird. But I'm getting ready because I'm going to the mall with my friend. We're hoping the store called Aritzia is there and we can like just check it out. Their tops are like so expensive. Like one top is like over $200. Definitely not in the budget for me. Like I've never spent, I spent over a hundred dollars for clothes, but never like over two hundred dollars for like piece of clothing. So I think it's a little wild. Uh, probably it's not in my price range at the moment. So, but I wanted to come on here and share this little like story time, and maybe it'll be the title of the video. I don't know. Still deciding. I watch like a lot of commentary channels just because I find them interesting and I like hearing what they have to say. I watch YouTuber headlines and I kind of like her style because she just like says what she wants to say and then like she's done. Sometimes her videos are long but most of the time she keeps it sweet and short so I appreciate that because I can like throw it on in the background when I'm working and then just like listen to her what she has to say and then you know move on. So I was listening to her and I was listening to the video about Tara Henderson and Aaron Williams like having beef or something. I don't know, like their friendship is, I don't know, who knows. In the grand scheme of things, like I once had this YouTube friend and we would always like say, what if we just like falsified our, well, we didn't use that word, but what if we faked <laughs> me being weird? What if we falsified our friendship and then like created drama and just like made this whole thing up just to get to gain in views because you know that works on YouTube like there's not one YouTuber that probably would deny that if there's anything that like drama esque or you know fighting happening you know it's gonna pull in the views so we would always say if we got bigger or whatever we should make or create fake drama so we could get more views and like honestly like I don't know that would be kind of like fun but we never ended up doing that so I mean I don't know if it would actually work but anyway I was watching this video from YouTuber headlines and she was just talking about um Aaron Williams and Tara Henderson and apparently well, they're having beef and stuff, but she was saying that Aaron Williams has this thing on Instagram that, um, like a subscribe button, like you can subscribe to people, I guess now on Instagram and pay like whatever price that they want you to. And I'm hoping this was like blended. I don't really know. You can subscribe. So I go to check out Aaron's page, like her Instagram profile, because like I'm curious, right? And the like user didn't exist. Like I was like, whoa, I know she did. That's a person I would never like just delete her Instagram. So I was like, oh my God, she like, she blocked me. Cause I have another account, like a private account that I use. Well, actually I really don't use it. I like it to like my pictures and like my friends pictures, like, so they get another like, you know? So I went on that account and I saw that she didn't block that one. She blocked my like main account, which I don't know why. Maybe it was like when all of the Micah Stoffer stuff like came out and I had the video that like blew up a bit. Maybe she saw that and was like, ew, I don't like this person. Cause I know that like, maybe she just, you know, doesn't agree with like my lifestyle or whatever. But like, she blocked me, which is really funny. Like, I'm not like offended. I just thought it was funny because I don't really follow those people so much because um, there's nothing, not, this isn't a bad thing. There's just nothing like I relate to them on, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm not a mom. I don't clean. They don't live in Florida. I don't know. There's just nothing that... So I'm not like offended nor did I follow them but like I just think it's funny that I when I went to go check her page she had blocked me. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that story with you guys as I'm like getting ready here um, because I find that to be like really funny and 
I had no idea that I was blocked by like a big influencer. Maybe it's because I followed the Dad Challenge podcast a little bit and maybe she was just like blocking anyone and everyone who followed him, which now I don't blame, but anyway. Uh, I also wanted to quickly talk about, half the time I don't know if I'm doing this right, my blog. So if you guys don't know, I have a website and I share a lot of stuff on there that I don't really talk about here. There's not a lot of posts, to be honest, over there. Um, so sorry about that. But I do have a few. So if you want to check that out, I'm just like plugging in my website here now. Because I can and I want to. <laughs> so check out my website if you haven't. I almost have a thousand people like that have viewed my page um, on like my website, which is really cool. Like I have 700 something and I'm like, wow, so many people like chose to click on or visit my website, which is like so cool. So I'm happy about that. So thank you. If you have checked out my website, thank you so much. And yeah, I think we're good on the foundation. Half the time I don't know if I'm like good or not i think we're good on the foundation okay so while i do my blush i wanted to what else did i want to talk about shoot i always do this i always forget okay so this is the outfit i love it really summery spring vibes and just decided to go with the natural hair because i don't like putting a lot of heat on it when i don't have to and this is what the makeup looks like I'm getting better at the brows. I'm happy about that. Um, didn't really feel like wearing anything on my lips, so didn't. And yeah, just got my Brussels sprouts in because I think she's already like eaten or something. So I am just going to eat my Brussels sprouts and I think turkey slices that I'm going to head out. So yeah, the rest of this vlog, I think I'm going to film on my phone just because I want to take my little cute backpack. I never take this backpack. And oh, by the way, I totally forgot what I was going to say when I was like doing my makeup. I like pause the camera and then I'm like, what was I going to say? I have no idea. So that's just what happens sometimes. Um, but I want to carry this and I don't want to take this big camera. So I'm going to show you guys my little lunch and then I'm going to get on the road and then just use my phone because it's just easier. And here is my lunch. Just got some Brussels sprouts with some turkey and my vitamins because I always need to take your vitamins, kids. So we're just shopping around. Our first stop is Airy, so that's why I got some B-roll for you guys. But um, it's pretty chill. We don't really have any like itinerary. We're just walking around, so. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little b-roll montage thing. Okay, so I just figured out what I need because I know I was like, I need something. I need a pair of black booties because I threw mine away because like the bottoms were almost like rubbed raw pretty much. Like it's a very thin line. So hopefully, maybe I'll find a good pair today. We'll see. That might be a goal. Next stop is Forever 21. And I'm kind of looking for a nice, like, white blouse. So we'll see if we can find anything in here. These are nice. Maybe long sleeves because it's always so cold in the office. Ew, there's nothing on that one. We made a pit stop into Abercrombie. Abercrombie stuff's gotten a lot better over the years. And their dressing rooms here are so cool because you can, like, control the lighting and stuff. Also, I want to share this, like, funny story time. Now I don't know, like, I probably can't caption it or title it this because it's not my video because I didn't want to like ask for her to be in my vlog because anyway but we ran into Corinna Corinna Corp I don't really know how you say her last name to be honest um but it was funny because my friend and I were walking like in Sephora just like randomly and then we passed this girl that looks like Corinna and then we like after we passed her we both look over at each other and we're like is that Corinna like that she looked really familiar so my friend was gonna go ask her like hey are you Corinna? And I'm like, no, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it. Cause like, I don't, I don't really have any like, I don't get too shy. Like I just go up to people and like ask, but I am so bad all the time about like asking people if they're like a certain person. So I'll go like, oh, hi Sarah. And they're like, oh, I'm not Sarah. 
So this lie, I went up to Karenna and I was like, excuse me, like, what's your name? Because like, uh, so many times I just assume people are people and they're not. And it's just awkward. But she was like, oh, it's Karenna. I'm like, it is Karenna. So it was kind of funny. I just want to share that uh, video. I just wanted to share that story with you guys because I just think it's funny. Also, I didn't ask for a picture because I don't know, I felt like I made it awkward for her. So I didn't want to like be that weird person. So I didn't get a picture, but I did. You'll just have to trust me that I met Karenna at Sephora at Mall, Mall Millennia. Okay, the guys, this is so funny, by the way. This is what my friend gets, but they really messed up her name. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, I just wanted to show you the little top I got. And also I remember what I wanted to say when I was doing my makeup. I was talking to my friend in the car and I was like, oh my gosh, that's what I wanted to talk about. But I forgot, like right smack dab when I was doing my makeup. So this is what I got. I feel like I can wear this with blue jeans or black jeans or leggings. It's just a white little, it's made out of like this chiffon material. It's from Forever 21 and just looks like this. It was under $20, so it's always a plus, but it just looks like this. And I got it to wear to work and stuff because, you know, always need some work stuff. And then I just got these makeup wipes because I needed some more. And they're just the Neutrogena uh, fragrance free makeup remover wipes. I don't know, but I just needed some more of those. And that's all I picked up. I want to talk about podcasting. Okay, so I've been listening to so many podcasts. Well, not so many. I've been listening to like Gretchen Garrity's like I've mentioned, but I don't know how, like, I don't know if I'd want to start a podcast. I really like blogging, but like I was saying, it's kind of hard to like get your blog out there. And I blog about like random stuff anyway. So I don't really know. I, I, that's, it's just like my YouTube channel. Like if I did a podcast, oh, you would kind of need like a subject and I don't know. So I just feel like podcasting, like how does your podcast get discovered? Cause like with YouTube, I mean, even though it's not the best thing to do, like clickbait obviously helps get your channel like noticed and out there. Um, but like, I guess you could clickbait with podcasts, but I still don't know, like how does your podcast get like in search rank and all that? Like I know zero, I was talking to one of my other friends who I work with cause she has a podcast and it's like, I wonder how you get out there. Like it is so, I don't know. It's just so foreign to me about podcasting, but that's what I wanted to talk about. And I finally remembered. So yeah, um, I'm just going to edit a video probably yesterday's vlog. And then I'll probably edit, I'll probably end up editing this video tomorrow night. I don't know. Just depends. Always just going with the flow. Hello. All right. So we're at Abuelo's. This is one of Valerie's favorites. It is. And I have not been here since the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah. And it's they... been like, not, it has been 2019 since I have eaten here. And it, they have this nice outside seating now. Good There's things, Sherry. Good things have come out of the pandemic. We've got some great outdoor seating here. It's yep. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. So, so Valerie nice got, um, what'd you get? Those are chili relinos. Chili it's like chilies, chili cool. peppers with cheese in them. Sherry got? Um, three enchiladas. Enchiladas there. I got a glass of wine and you can't come to a Mexican place without getting some tortillas. So I just have that. I already ate like before I came here. So, cause you guys know, I'm not a big fan of Mexican food. 